morning and happy Easter. When I started this project, I wanted to make sure that I would be able to provide some useful content to users, although a limited one given the age of the computer at hand. But how? Commodore 128 is an 80s machine, and it is unlikely that I will be able to provide anytime soon a web interface for users to get more information about the vessels presented. Then I thought, hang on, this is an app, and an app gives you links as well to click. But how do you click on a Commodore? How can I provide a working URL link to a Commodore user? Enter Martin. Martin had presented a few months ago a video where he implemented QR codes on a Commodore machine. That was my eureka moment. If I contact him, then maybe... Martin turned to be a super friendly guy that shared the same passions with me. The love for our old retro digital friends. He was kind enough to provide me with his binaries, and after a few email exchanges and a lot of long hours, I am proud to present QR codes on a Commodore machine. The concept is simple. We already have the ability to click on vessel dots as we have seen this in previous videos. What I do know is take the MMSI of the vessel, append it to the string that represents the URL of a vessel tracking website. In this instance, it is marinetraffic.com and then feed this string to Martin's QR code generator. Then it is time for some basic eight magic. Yes, that language relic of the past that allows me to have graphics on the VDC chip of Commodore 128. The way it works is as follows. Once I issue the SYS command to the QR code module, that responds with the memory address where the QR byte data are located. I just iterate through them and save them to a brush basic eight file. Essentially a sequential file with bytes in a particular format described in the manual of basic eight, then load it to a basic eight as a brush structure and then fetch it anywhere I want on the screen. Luckily, the zoom command scales the image to any size I like that helped me to avoid saving the QR bytes twice horizontally to overcome the VDC aspect ratio problem. It also makes things easier for your mobile to scan the QR code. Try it. Pause the video and scan the QR code. It will take you to the marinetraffic.com website and will show you information about the same vessel my Commodore is tracking on the video. Let's try to see how it works in reality. Here on my Vice emulator, I select a vessel location and basic code sends to the running machine language process the screen coordinates. The process looks in memory for a vessel in this location, and once it finds it, reports back to basic the memory location of it. The basic language then goes and retrieves the data, name, call sign, coordinates, etc. The important unique ID is the MMSI. This is the one I send back to the machine language code to generate the QR code but I bet there is nothing more exciting other than watching this running in real hardware. So here is my 38 years old Commodore 128 running the basic eight kernel and a ultimate two plus cartridge for network connectivity. Same as in Vice, you click and the past merges with the present. Who could have thought of? Thank you for watching. This is my first video I try to put some voice over. I used a tool called IE11 Labs and in the next few days, I will experiment with other tools. Not everybody think that they have a nice voice to be heard, and my accent is quite Greek for the universal audience. If you liked what you show, please subscribe and like. Again, many thanks to Martin for the support. I see the project now in a whole different perspective.